My story began 54 years ago. I was human then, living in Void Run, living a normal life. I had a family, a beautiful wife, Sata, and our two children, Aki and Norit. Ah, what I would give to go back to that life, to hold them in my arms again for one last time. Back then, I, I had a human name, Norad. I worked as a guard for our cloud district up in Dragon's Reach, before Balgruff took power. I remember, I remember everything on that fateful night. It began like every other. I made my rotations to the back ends of Dragon's Reach, something I had done a hundred times before. But this time I took notice of a shadowy figure. It moved stealthily in the night, unlike anything I had ever seen. I figured it was some recruit for the Thieves' Guild, trying to make a name for himself. He was not bad at all, the way he climbed the building, as if he had done so a dozen times before. But I had a job to do. Keep my oral safe, keep my people safe. So in my stupidity, I called out to him. I still get shivers, the way he stopped and looked back down at me with those cold dead eyes of his. I should have known to run away then, not look back, not say a thing. He smiled, he asked for my name, and I proudly gave it to him. Norit, guard of Whiterun, and I am here to arrest you. He laughed at me, menacingly, and took a moment to himself. He was thinking, if he should kill me, or worse. So in that moment I reached for my bow. But before my hands could reach my quiver to draw an arrow, in the blink of an eye he was behind me. It was inhuman the way he moved, and my instincts tried to warn me before, but my pride was too strong, too naive to listen. It was then I felt his cold, razor-sharp teeth sink into my neck, then in one swift and agonizing moment, he threw me effortlessly over the wall to my death as if I was some prey he was done playing with. Or so he thought. If it weren't for a few broken branches and the river moat down below, I would have been yet another dead guard found a few days later. For the briefest of moments I was in Sovngarde. I was at peace. Until some unnatural dark entity began pulling me back. But before Sovngarde's lights faded to me, I saw them, Saita, Aki, and Norit, looking to me with tears in their eyes. I had awoken. I was different. I could see the moon in the night sky, yet everything around me was clear as day. The pain I had felt when I hit the ground was all but gone. I could hear everything around me, like a hundred flowing rivers moving in the distance. When I came to my senses, I remembered the figure in the night. I made haste towards the gates of Whiterun to confront him once again. However, upon entering the city, I was met with an intense aroma I had never experienced before. It was luring me towards my home. Overtaking every thought in my mind, my hunger became immeasurable. I began smiling salivating and wondering what my wife had cooked so late at night. My excitement got ahead of me, and I failed to even notice that the door was already open. I walked into this house of horrors with a smile on my face, only to be met with my dear family slaughtered around the fireplace. My wife still holding on to our daughter, where they both perished to a sword stabbed through their hearts. And Norit, my son, died with his wooden sword at hand between my wife and the doorway I now stood. He had always been a fighter, my boy, and I knew he would grow strong. To be taken so soon and so brutally was a mistake I could never forgive. As I stood there speechless, feeling numb, and with a fire in my heart, a 
I grew stronger with rage. I caught myself smiling and still hungering. What have I become? I took control of my mind. I began searching for clues as to who did this. But in my heart I knew. The image of this shrouded monster smiling back at me. Laughing at me. It would not go away. I now knew what this thing was. What I have become as I looked down at myself in horror. No shadow in sight. No blood flowing through my veins. And my unrested impulse to feed on my own family. I had no choice. I fled. I left my family for what once was. I left my home, my people, my life. Norad had died that day, and what manifested in his place was darkness incarnate. Skada was born this day. That is what they call me now. The Nightwalker. I have spent the last 54 years living among the very things that destroyed my life. Watching, learning, and searching for clues. Even though this time has passed, the rage in my heart has only grown stronger. 54 years, and today, I learned of two names. The name of the vampire that was assigned to uncover intel in Whiterun 50 years prior. Movarth. Movarth, who once prided himself as a vampire hunter, only to become the very thing he swore to destroy. This is the one I will kill first. The second name is of the vampire lord that assigned this monster. Harkon. I will likely fail in this task, but with my last dying breath, I will put the fear of the divines in him. Make him know what one can achieve when everything he holds dear is taken away from him. Only then will I rest. There is one more thing. I had heard whispers. Whispers of a cure in lands not too far away. And before I leave on my journey of vengeance. For me to reunite with my family in Sovngarde. I must become mortal once more, and complete my vendetta with the human heart that once resided within me. This is where my story begins.